Good morning, everybody. It's August 21st, 2023, 51 degrees and 327 in the morning in Big Bear Lake, California. This is the final push of Tropical Storm Hillary. Here is the radar right now. Just wanted you guys to see where we are at with that blue dot right there. So that is, that is gonna be hitting us a little bit from west to east and then it's gonna be over. We're gonna do the aftermath video like usual. So I'll probably do that video around eight or nine in the morning. It probably won't be up till noon because I drive around the whole town and it takes a while to upload those videos. Let me just thank you guys for being a part of my life and part of this YouTube channel through this whole tropical storm. I know it kind of ended up being a little bit of a dud, but we still did get, I think, at the low end of what they predicted for the rain amounts. So I'm not too upset about it. Um, they do the best they can. And that's all I care about. They do the very best they can, these, these weather forecasters. So thanks again, guys, for sharing this experience with us. Um, it's it's going to probably most likely be the, the, the only one. But we will get some really good storms come, come winter time again. And I'm excited to be out there in the snow for you guys. All my friends who love to come up here and visit. Um, thank you again for the live feed earlier guys that the, there was I think like just under 1700 people watching live. I could not believe it. I, I Don't even think I've had a live feed with with half of that many people. <laughs> so that was fantastic <clears throat> Again, very 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 blessed very honored and thank you guys. I Do work my butt off my wife. She puts up with it an awful lot with me always working and, and, and then always doing this YouTube channel um, I really don't know many other people who would be this supportive. So I am very, very lucky. Very, 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 very lucky. She just woke. She So she was sound asleep and was like, do you want me to go with you? <laughs> it's so cute. So I was like, sure. Obviously, if you're too tired, you don't have to go, but that would be great. So my beautiful baby is right here you can't really see her because it's dark but there she is and uh, yeah thank you guys again this channel is just really really beautiful with the type of people we have here so thanks again for everything you guys the experiences that I get to go through with all of you it, it just makes it it's it's of a magnitude significantly greater than if it was just me you guys are what make this channel what it is and i love you guys so much thank you again for everything all the donations just everything you guys do for me and as i said we have merchandise coming and it's going to be a lot of it a lot of different choices i'm, I'm gonna have a website coming it's one of you guys jay matsu who's getting the whole thing set up for me and so you know uh he's he's gonna get a huge kick down of everything because he's working his butt off doing this on his own accord trying to help me out which that's that's what you guys are all about you guys are all about being helpful loving people and that's why I always do business with people on this channel whenever I need something in life I ask you guys first and if someone here sells it or or works on it or something I always go through you guys so got to stick together you guys we are a family whether you like it or not <laughs> so yeah right now we are on a street we are on moon ridge road and it's about to turn into gold mine when we go go near bear mountain and once again this is the final push of the storm i couldn't believe the storm track took like uh a huge it's just it was a sharp sharp left turn just before the the uh, the main source of the circulation got to our area which is where the winds were gonna really pick up it took a hard left and went straight to Los Angeles and then started going north from there northeast a bit but again I am super grateful that we did get as much rain as we did I think we were probably gonna end up here with like four inches maybe a little bit more if 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 we're lucky and I think on the low end they were saying four to eight inches so um, again I can't 
can't get upset with the weather forecasters. They do the best they can. Um, once these tropical storms hit land, you just you just really don't know. Whoa, look at all these trees now. You just really don't know what they're going to do. You really don't. Um, clearly. So, wow, look at this. The flow of water that came through. Yeah, huge river of water brought all that stuff out here. That's craziness. But yeah, guys, so I really don't know how to express to you guys enough how much I love you and how grateful I am each and every second of my life to have you guys here with us and, um, and just giving me hope and purpose. So right now we are on Club View. This is Club View Road. And, th and this is for you, Susan. I'm trying to remember to mention the names of the streets that I'm turning on. In my new car that I never drive, my brand new car, my 2023 Outback Touring XT, um, this whole screen is like the, from all the way down here all the way up. It's, it's a giant screen, so I always had my GPS on there. So I would pan down there often for you guys so you can see. But for right now, I'm just gonna have to tell you guys where I'm at. The golf course is to the right of us here and we're coming up on the Big Bear Zoo on the right hand side as well. So I hope everyone stayed safe. I got a few messages from you guys about people's uh, roofs leaking and stuff like that. So I'm really sorry that that a lot of you went through that. I hope you got the situation resolved. I know how stressful that can be, especially if you have to like, like, like wait for the buckets to fill up and you can't go to sleep because the buckets will overflow. It's, it's just, it's, a, it's, it's an absolute pain. And I really hope that you guys got these issues handled. This storm really didn't do as much as, uh, as I expected or a lot of people and as it got closer to you guys that's when they raised the rainfall totals so usually when the storm gets closer and they change the forecast the closer it gets the more accurate the forecast is obviously but again we live in the mountains and the mountains have a really nasty way of messing with storms either ripping them up a little bit it, de it definitely causes lift, so some parts will get really hammered, but ripping them up a little bit, sending them off in a little bit of a different direction, it, it's, there's, there's so many factors involved. And by the way, our good friend Dan Payan, Dan, my friend, Dan is still zero, has zero cancer. He's a friend on, on, on this channel, and he's been getting some more testing done, and he is still cancer free right now so guys big round of applause for our good friend on this channel Dan Pyant thank you Dan thank you for sharing that with me and thank you for for fighting so hard you're definitely a, a big inspiration for everyone and uh, everyone out there just know you can fight too I'm fighting for something right now too regarding some serious health issues so we're all in this life together Again, whether you like it or not, we are all in this together. And being helpful and loving each other will really get us through. So we're back on Moon Ridge Road right now. And we're going to head into the village. It might take a little bit of time for it to get down there. So on our drive around town to, to check out what happened after the storm, we are going to stop at Grout Creek for a minute and see if there's any water flowing. Okay, now we're on Big Bear Boulevard. Thank you 
for all the new subscribers also. I really hope you do stick around and enjoy this channel. It's a really cool cool place to be. There's so many amazing people here. When we do live feeds in, 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 in the wintertime, they're very similar to what I did for this storm, where there's one at my house for many, many hours, and then we'll do a few driving as well as my regular videos. But the conversations we have are so wonderful and so much love on this channel. So welcome to the channel. I'm really glad to have you here and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you love love weather and you love the snow, I don't think you'll, you'll be disappointed because I go out in the middle of it all. Ain't that right, babe? What I just said. That's right. What I just said. Something I'm happy about, about the storm not being as gnarly as it was supposed to be, is um, I have, as I said, my brand new car, I told you guys, I moved it to my friend's auto mechanic shop, and he let me park it in the garage overnight for the last few nights. Uh, just so I wouldn't get any tree branches or anything smashing my new car. And uh, we were both a little bit worried that his shop was going to get some structural damage because of the winds, but the winds never really came. Even though I've been seeing reports that we had 70 mile an hour gusts up here, definitely wasn't in our area. Definitely wasn't in our area. In our area, my wife and I have seen some crazy winds worried that the trees are going to snap and crash through our house. We had nothing like that. Well, I mean, like today, Sandra almost got taken out by a five mile an hour wind. That was a little more than five, babe. <laughs> that was like five and a half miles an hour. <laughs> our, our, our good friend, Sandra, she's such a nice, nice, nice lady. So sweet. She is so sweet. Yeah, so we are still on Big Bear Boulevard, 3.40 in the morning. There is nobody out here. Let me see if I, I, sh I wish it was always like this. So do I. So do I. So we're going to drive around the village here and then come back through the other side. But again, this is the final push of this tropical storm. I wanted to have a really good documentation of the storm. I'm going to create a playlist, a, a new playlist of, of just hurricane, hill, or hurricane and tropical storm Hillary stuff. So all the live feeds and all these videos I've done will be on there as a tropical storm playlist. Never would have thought I'd be saying that a couple weeks ago. So we're actually going to take Lakeview to Edgemore and then come back around through the village and then we're going to head back. So now we're turning on to Lakeview. This is Lakeview. We're driving basically right alongside the lake here for this whole drive. You're not going to be able to see the lake because it's dark and there's houses and hotels. Just like Monopoly. There's houses and hotels. Just Where's the money though? Where is the money? Did you see that game I sent you earlier? I did. I did. Big Bearopoly. Uh huh. Can we buy it? I think I. It's you, twenty bucks. I think we should keep it and we should buy a bunch. And, well, I was thinking this. And sell them on the channel. Or we could buy a bunch and give them for Christmas. Babe, that's channel. that's a great idea. Babe, that's a great idea. I love that idea, babe. Stop shaking your fist at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it when she comes up with the good ideas instead of me. <laughs> Get out and walk. <laughs> Stop bashing my head into the wood <laughs> into the dashboard. <laughs> Stop trying to open my door. 
<laughs> You're not gonna steal my ideas. <laughs> well, she does have some great ideas, you guys. And uh, again, she's been very, 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 very helpful and making me, uh, I don't know, feel extra support on this because again, with all of you, I definitely don't feel alone doing this, especially the past few years as this channel has really grown, but um, it is nice having someone to cruise with me and someone who actually kind of is fond of what I do and doesn't, doesn't judge what I do only in the most positive way. As I said, very, 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 very supportive, so I am extremely lucky. All right, so this street right here is called, what is this called? Well, Lagunita is to the right. And this right here, what is this street called? I, I always forget. Do you, do you have any, any memory of what this street is? I think this is Lakeview as well, actually, now that I'm thinking yeah, about it. Lakeview. Lakeview, yes. simple but hard working lifestyle how can you not admire that okay we are on a street called Edgemore now it's been like two years that's okay move for two years exactly move for two years is right <laughs> Tomorrow on Tuesday is Taco Tuesday, so. But I've had too much. Are you? I I feel like I'm all tacoed up from all yeah, the taquitos. Yeah, yeah, so am I. You probably need like a salad or something. I think so. I think so. I don't think my my arteries can take anymore. <laughs> but it was really really yummy, and it was it was, it was good. Well, they, you know when you good cook, for the storm. when you make them, when you reheat them in the oil, you're supposed to let them drain. Well, I shake them out the yeah, best that I can. you just like get it out of the oil, shake no. it off, and start eating it. No, no, I, <laughs> each one I shook for about 10 seconds or so until there was hardly anything coming out. And then I'd like do a hard shake like that. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. It needs like it did time work. to drip. It needs you've time to drip. You've been looking like you've been wearing lip gloss all weekend because your lips are so greasy. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what, what, what my heart looks like right now. It's, it is. It looks like a taquito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, guys. So yeah, this was a this was definitely a cool experience. Look, guys, it's in the 40s now. It's 49 degrees. I hope the chickens are okay. They're, babe, they were outside when it was 15 to 20 degrees. Sometimes I know, but they were out there today running around in the rain and. Checked on them, they still looked a little bit wet. Well, we're gonna turn left right here, uh, not this street, the next street. We're gonna take one more little back street near Aspen Glen picnic area. I think this is a little left here. 
So we're on Big Bear Boulevard and we're turning on Tulip right now. Driving up this street when it snows on the left-hand side is, it's just, it, it's like a small little prairie area past this, this house right here. It's really, really pretty. There's streams and it's, it's just, it's really, really pretty over here on the left-hand side here. Again, all you new subscribers, thank you again for being here. Your support is greatly appreciated. It really is. And you'll eventually see that I've earned the subscription. I promise you that. I promise you that. I work so hard at this. It, it, it's not physical hard labor, but I don't get a lot of sleep during storms. Hardly any sleep. I push through it because I'm obsessed about doing this stuff. I love it. And you guys really, really, really like it too. So thanks again. And I promise you, I will never ever let you guys down. I will not disappoint. I always do the very best I can and that's all I can do. So thanks again for giving me a shot. And again, if, uh, if, if you give it a chance and hang out on some of the live feeds or read lots, lots of the comments, you'll see how wonderful so many of these people are. All right, so Aspen Glen picnic area is right here to the right. But this street with all these leaves in it looks really pretty. It looks really pretty. coming through that brought us snow this time of year that would be pretty epic but that's that's not gonna happen but then again I never thought we would actually be getting affected by a legit tropical storm It's going to be over in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And then as I said, I should have the aftermath video uploaded by 11 or noon. For those of you who are new, after every storm, I do what's called the aftermath video. And I do a drive around most of the valley of Big Bear, the Big Bear Valley. and. Uh, just so people can see what it looks like. Usually in the winter time, um, it gives you guys a perspective of how much snow is in certain parts of town. Because a lot of you come up here often and you, a lot of you own homes up here. So it's, uh, it, it, it just lets you see where your, what your area looks like. Because this town, you get so many snow discrepancies from one side to the other. For instance, if we have two inches of snow in Baldwin Lake, we'll have about eight inches or more over here. It's, it's, it's remarkable. And it's only an eight mile long or seven and a half to eight mile long valley. Same elevation, but you get a lot more snow on this side of town. The further you go towards the Big Bear Dam, the more snow you get. The further you go away from the Big Bear Dam, the less snow you get. However, the snowiest area in all of Big Bear is called Upper Moon Ridge. And that's kind of in the center of the whole town, but it's up a few hundred feet higher. And they get, they get obliterated. They get a lot more snow than we do down here. And it, it's only, as I said, a few hundred feet higher up in elevation. So it's, it's not something huge when it comes to significance and elevation, but it really is huge when it comes to the amount of snow. I just swear I saw a person 
and then I looked again, and it wasn't. This is some slapped ham type stuff, babe. Some paranormal stuff going on here. The other day when I was cleaning the house, I swore I saw a child standing in the room like a shadow like this. Oh, babe. And then it was like this. Babe, that's... You, and it was you're standing, scaring me, babe. Like this. You're scaring me, babe. <laughs> and I looked again, and it was gone, and I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I went home. <laughs> Jeez, babe. I think I was just really tired. Yeah, well, I hope that's what it was. I'd love to believe in the paranormal stuff. I would love to. But well, let me all... tell you, I was so creeped out, I felt like it followed me to my car. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I was so creeped out. But it didn't get in the car because your car smells so much like Fabulosa. <laughs> didn't get in the car because I beat it with the broom and then I jumped in the car. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back on Big Bear Boulevard. The last stop's going to be driving by Snow Summit real quick. To do our last little part of this tropical storm recordings. Again, the reason why we're doing it right now is because it started to pick up a bit and on, on the radar it was literally it. At about, I don't know, 4.15 in the morning it shows that it's not supposed to, uh, there's nothing in the area after that. It's going to be so beautiful looking down the mountain, you guys. If, if my wife and I end up driving down for some reason, um, because all the smog and nasty air that's been stagnant is going to be wiped away, and it's going to be the most incredible view. We're going to be able to see Catalina Island, no problem, San Pedro, no problem. From parts of this mountain range, you, you can even see where I grew up in Newport Beach. You can see the buildings of Fashion Island. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I grew up about a mile and a half, two miles from Fashion Island, right on the water, on a little island called Linda Isle. I have my brace on. Glad I do. Okay, so yeah, we are back on Big Bear Boulevard. Didn't expect to see any cars out here right now. turn right here on a street called Thrush. This is the street where you would exit Snow Summit from. When you're in the Snow Summit parking lot, you pull in from Summit Boulevard, that stoplight up there, and then you exit on this street. So we're going to go through the exit because I am a rebel. A rebel without a cause. there was something else someone wanted me to talk about one of our friends here on this channel and I've been thinking about it and I, I just can't can't remember I cannot remember it's not because I'm selfish I guarantee you that's 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 not why at all it's because all the years of partying has destroyed my brain but this last June 23rd, for those of you new folks here, I celebrated 10 years clean off of alcohol. After being in nine rehab centers and two sober living houses since I was 13 years old. So, yeah, and my whole life changed in that 10 years. Those of you suffering with the affliction of alcohol, please understand the promises of AA do, do work. I haven't been to any meetings this stent of sobriety but I utilized all my knowledge from AA to stay strong I just didn't have that major support 
Um, but yeah, if, if you work hard at staying sober one day at a time, I'm, I'm telling you, in this 10 years, I got completely independent from my mom and dad, completely. They didn't help me with anything anymore, which was great because I'm an older guy. They shouldn't be helping me, and, and now they definitely can't. But uh, I got fully independent from them. I ended up uh, moving up here, started a small business, have this YouTube channel. Security's just staring at me like, what are you doing? Well, I'm just driving through here because it's beautiful. This is Snow Summit right here, you guys. Fat Mike from No Effects. When I came to a No Effects show here, I sat and talked with him for like 10 minutes right here. It was like a dream come true. You're not gonna be able to really see, but those are the slopes right there. Just awesome, awesome. Summit Boulevard now and now we're gonna turn on Evergreen and take this to Moon Ridge Road and then the video of the last tropical storm video is gonna be done technically technically the aftermath video will will be the last one in association with this storm but again can't thank you new subscribers enough can't thank all my older friends who have been here for a long time enough um, I really hope <coughs> that you always feel like I'm doing the very best I, I I can for you because uh, I know I am. I know I am. All right. I knew that on this drive we would be hitting the last bit of good rain. So yeah, it's definitely letting up right now. It's still extremely cloudy up here, but I thought maybe I'd be able to see a star or two. It would be kind of cool, babe, to do a video, even though I got work like usual, to drive down the mountain one side and come back the other during the day. During the day. Do you work today? I do. Okay. Anybody out there who, who owns an Airbnb up here and you're a little nervous of your cleaning people or you're looking for someone new, my wife has a little business where she cleans Airbnb properties. And, I mean, she does a, a phenomenal job in a very timely fashion, and, and we could always use the business. So if you guys are interested, just contact me, leave me a comment, and I'll get you in touch with my beautiful wife. We would love to help you guys out. All right, this street evergreen during the daytime, if you guys see it, some of these houses are just spectacular. But you can't see it at night. I gotta patch it together. Okay. Then we're coming up to one of my favorite hotels in this town. It's on the playlist of lodging. It's called Apple's Bed and Breakfast. We were fortunate enough. They were closed, but they let us stay here anyway. And we got this whole mansion straight ahead to ourselves. We literally slept with our bedroom door wide open. It was awesome. It was, it was absolutely awesome. We had access to the kitchen downstairs or, the, or this fridge where they had sodas for us and everything. It was- We had our own personal cook. Yep, we had a private cook. It was, it was, it was fantastic. So give Apple's Bed and Breakfast a shot. And if you're looking for the for the higher end, like four star type spots or or better, uh, um, what's that place called in the village where we stayed? I can never remember because it's such a weird name. It is. Name. It, it's green it's or... Blue Green Resorts. Oh, yeah. um, but what's the actual name? 
Blue Green Resorts, the, the something at Blue Green Resorts. I don't even have my phone to be able to look it up either. Well, anyway, guys, we are we are absolutely privileged to have you guys in our lives. Thank thanks again for being here with us. Thanks for cruising with us. Um, anytime you're up here, don't hesitate to hit us up because even though I am extremely busy. I always try to make time to at least swing by to shake your hand, meet you somewhere, just to say hi and shake your hands and stuff. On the rare occasions that I get a lot more time, I go out to dinner with you guys and stuff. Like, look, I'm not, I'm nothing special, all right? I'm, I'm not trying to like make it seem like, oh, it would, you, you know, it'd be so lucky. I'm the lucky one who gets to meet you guys. And I get so anxious because I, a lot of you I've talked to for a long time, so I get so anxious getting to meet you guys and it's, it, it's a great feeling and you guys have been super good to me. So I love you guys a lot. Thank you again for being part of this tropical storm with us in Big Bear, California. Um, we're gonna say our goodbyes right now and, and look for the aftermath video. And Bye everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for being on all the lives. Absolutely. It's so much fun watching you guys have fun on those lives. Right, babe? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's an awesome experience. And with the 1,700 people on the live earlier today, I can't believe that. It was shocking to me because there, there were hardly any trolls on there. And usually when you see that many people on a live feed, you'll get some people making some, some pretty mean comments and like that stuff, I don't, I don't like it all. I don't put up with it. We have too many women and children watching and I want to keep this place a safe, respectable and respectful place. And uh, you guys make it that way. So thank you again. Thank you for making this channel what it is today. I love you guys dearly. Please do me a favor. If you enjoy what I do, the few of you who are still watching at this point, please hit the like and subscribe button. Um, I don't want any subscriptions if you don't think that I've earned it. So please hook me up if you can. It, it's, it's extremely helpful to me. And uh, again, I promise I'll never let, let you guys down. Like, subscribe, and, and, and even share. Because uh, you never know who else is going to watch it. And then they might share the video, and they might share. And the power of duplication is huge. Um, yeah, thanks again, guys. I love you very, very much. And we will talk to you later. We're on Fox Farm Road right now, by the way. Um, oh, I just, I hate saying goodbye. But at least I have another video to do a little bit later uh, in a, a few hours for the aftermath. So I love you guys, and we will talk later. Peace out.